Hey, my name is Mikhail Paskalev, and I am here with uh, Hujun from the Departure Lounge, and uh, we are having a nice time. Actually, I should ask. Vad heter du? Mikael Paskalev. Var kommer du fra? Ålesund, Norge. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, jeg snakker norsk, ikke? Yeah. <laughs> jeg tror det. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so you're here with Corny Barnett and Sam Furman. So how's everything going? How's America treating you? Treating me well. Uh, it's my third time now. Uh, this time I'm on my own, <coughs> friendless, without a band. But uh, luckily the rest of the guys are treating me well, so I'm out. So um, your your band's not here? No, my band's not here. It's just me. So no, so no Jonas. No Jonas, no Billy, or whoever <laughs> you picked up is in the band. All right, cool. Um, I mean, I don't know. So was this like a mom and pop thing? Because you. Um, in, in the U.S. you got signed um, to Mom and Pop, so was it like the whole record label thing? What do you mean by the whole record label like, thing? Like touring together. Uh, oh, because of Courtney's on Mom and Pop as well, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I think so. I share... Uh, my manager is also managing uh, San Fermin, and my label is also the label of Courtney, so I guess it's uh, uh, easy enough... Uh, mathematical equation wow well, i know english uh but anyway it's a bit of a weird lineup though but i guess that kind of makes it interesting as well so um let's talk about you know your background i guess so you're from uh olsen, olsen yeah. yeah like oh like yeah, yeah. yeah a with the okay so you spent uh most of your childhood there i'm yeah. yeah i'm guessing and then you went to um lipa right liverpool yeah so out of all the places why did you choose uh you know, England? Um, I didn't have any aspirations at all. I just wanted to play music, and uh, that was a college or uni that I got into, and I thought I'm going to have to move because uh, I had no no other options <laughs> pretty easily. I mean, you are you come from a family where, you know, your, your dad was a musician and your grandfather was also a musician, and I heard that, like, you played in front of like a biker gang uh, when you were when you were like 14, what like yeah. something like that. So it's true, you you know basically as much as uh, much about myself as uh, I do. But uh, yeah, my dad's a musician, my granddad was a musician, and uh, I have been not touring. Obviously, it was very low key stuff, but just hanging out with my dad, playing music for quite a bit. Yeah. Shut this coffee thing away, so I don't <laughs> look like I'm. <coughs> so um, you know. Your album, What's Life Without Losers. I mean, it's it's been out since last year, right? Yeah, yeah it has, yeah. Yeah, but but it it wasn't, there isn't like a US release for that album, is there? No, uh, Mom and Pop are sitting quite heavy on it uh, yeah. for now. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. I don't always follow the politics of music business. I'll just keep writing. I'm far on my way to the next album now, which is uh, exciting for me. Uh, so I'm just doing that and taking each day by day, or however you say it. <laughs> because um, a lot of American fans uh, were complaining about how like uh, they couldn't get the album on iTunes because it was like only available on the Norwegian iTunes store. So you know maybe 
I mean, do you have any uh, vinyls on the merch stand tonight? Uh, not, not for the album, no. I got a... Uh, the EP, maybe? Uh, the EP, I got that. Some t-shirts and, yeah, little bits and bobs. But, uh, <coughs> I mean, I would have sold the album a long time ago if it wasn't for uh, the legal side of things, where I'm not actually allowed to do that before a mom and pop releases it, I guess. So, obviously, you know, there's a famous I Spy music video that that everybody always you know talks about during interviews and obviously it was like the whole Tom Cruise <laughs> thing Tom Cruise dance dance moves so uh, I'm guessing you're a big fan of Tom Cruise uh, not really a big fan it was just for some reason when he did that um, it's stuck out to me he it was a cool dude when he was doing that and it was slightly embarrassing and yeah 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 it's like a spontaneous idea just bum dancing I, I think Tom Cruise was really good in uh, Magnolia, so I'm gonna have to give him respect for his role in that movie. And then, um, you know, you have very, you write very uplift, uplifting music, and um, you know, feels very good whenever I listen to it. And um, obviously, when I was listening to Susie, I did feel like the whole, you know, a, a Paul Simon vibe. Um, so I'm guessing you're a, a big a Paul Simon fan. Uh, yes, I am, and thank you, man. I appreciate that. <coughs> Paul Simon is cool. <laughs> I really like him. Always have. Um, and also a TLC fan, right? That was like the first TLC. record you've ever bought. Yeah. Wow, you know everything, man. That's great. You, you know your job. But uh, yeah, that was the first record I ever bought. Crazy Sexy Cool. Good record. I mean, you do have like a very uh, eclectic uh, range of music and your you know taste in your in your repertoire i guess i guess so you know how did you like put all of those like influences together i mean it's just a subconscious thing uh well yeah i think so because the moment you start forcing them it just sounds forced um so hopefully i don't sound too forced but i i know what you mean with it the the, the range might be considered quite like different maybe where there's a bit of like soul punk and rock and roll and pop kind of mentality to things i hate it when people just like mush genres together because it sounds like they're tr trying to do something special <coughs> which is definitely not what i'm doing it's just that i i can't avoid listening to uh all kinds of good music and so therefore when i write i try not to limit myself into like one genre or one sound or you know what i mean a lot of people do that they find that one sound and then that defines them as it's like emulating yeah you know what i mean uh which i guess i emulate a lot as well but just i don't i don't uh, i don't say i can't play that song because it doesn't sound like my first song or whatever i just write songs and do whatever i want so uh, it's, i guess just being you know limitless without being all over the place yeah, yeah. i mean you know i mean i guess everybody's emulated someone you know yeah i mean that, that's that's me that's how music goes i guess so um so uh back to that quote where you said you know you're uh really into sports i like balls whatever <laughs> so are you into uh soccer at all football soccer, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, going on arisa yeah he's a cool liverpool guy. yeah he's from my hometown as well i don't know oh really, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. that was a good little uh tail yeah. whatever you call it but uh little connection right there from liverpool to alson yeah uh but yeah i like soccer uh, i like playing soccer i don't like watching soccer because uh sometimes i find it boring sometimes it's extremely exciting but uh, often it's kind of boring but uh like some sports a lot <coughs> some love for uh Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. he's a cool dude as well he's from the neighbor neighbor uh, town basically so where you're from is you know like a pretty little village right yeah, yeah. it's about 40,000 people like uh, an old fisherman's village at least by tradition um voted the most beautiful city in Norway a couple of times because it is very beautiful um yeah that's where I'm from so do you um visit I'm guessing you visit uh, every now and then you mean back home yeah yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm a very homesick guy, uh, but it, it gets harder and harder, though, for every year. Uh, you get older and older and more busy and busy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go home now after this tour and just stay with my 
dad and hang out with him for about a month. Should be good. Play some music together. Play some music, play some basketball. Does your <laughs> basketball, cool. Does your dad ever like criticize your music or give you a lot of feedbacks or Yeah, all the time. All the time. I guess, he, I guess he's like the person to go to for like honest criticism. Yeah, I got a lot of friends who I luckily can do that with as well. Honest criticism is the best. But uh, no, I'll, I'll always be very excited about writing a new song and then uh, show it to my dad and he'll shoot me down. Uh, rightfully so most of the time as well. Though. He's a clever dude. Tear it apart in the most, uh, I don't know, right way, the most honest way. So, um... You know, what's is it? Was there like a music scene in your little village, or, or was it more like just people playing uh, music freely on the streets, or whatever? More like that? Not, not so much on the streets, but uh, definitely just not a good music scene. But a lot of people sort of being interested in music. Um, so for me, I think it happened when I moved away from there. No offense to my lovely hometown, but. Uh, yeah, when I moved and uh, met some other people and also just like growing up, starting to listen and l listen to a broader uh, selection of music and yeah, the normal stuff, you know, you grow up, you know more what you like and what you don't like. Um, and you've played uh, at Oya Festival and I mean, I've, I'm planning to go there uh, when I when I visit Norway. So. I mean, you played there how, how many times? Uh, well, twice under my name, and then I played there twice with Jonas Alaska, who's a friend of mine, who you mentioned uh, earlier. Um, a lot of good acts, too, yeah. What was that? A lot of good bands play, playing there, too, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really good at uh, picking out their lineup. Uh, and a beautiful festival as well. I didn't go this year, though, because I was in Bulgaria with my grandparents, but I'll make sure to be there next year. So you uh, visit Bulgaria too every every uh, now and then? Yeah, pretty much every year I try to go there. Awesome. Uh, so I'm guessing you're trilingual English, Bulgarian, Norwegian? Not, not exactly, no. I'm pretty poor at Bulgarian. Um, I didn't start, I didn't try to speak Bulgarian before I was like nine. And then it's not as much in your blood, I guess, as uh, Norwegian and English actually as well. I started speaking way before that. Um, so I, I know my bits and bobs, but I'm no professor. Wrapping up here, um, do you have any advice for uh, all the people who want to travel to Norway, including me? Uh, I'd say uh, you need to spend some time. A couple of days is not enough. Uh, it's also quite expensive, so you probably need to save a fair bit of cash if you want to have a good time. Um, Oslo, the capital, is of course a nice town. I don't want to diss it, but if I had to go to one place, it wouldn't be just Oslo because it's just like more of a European big city, if you know what I mean. So I'd go to the west coast, which is where I'm from, and I really love it there. Fjords and mountains, and yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> it's so hard to get like Norwegian music in the States because like, you know they they don't really like really have US releases and stuff so i remember spending a lot of money on yeah. on norwegian music because of the shipping and all that yeah. and um i don't know yeah so all right well uh thanks for your time and uh let's have fun tonight yeah cool thank you for your norwegian support it's good <laughs> all right cool <laughs>